You see, when you're a broke YouTuber who isn't monetized yet, you have to do things like this to get by. And you have to make your light and your tripod out of a, a little extension cord rig like this and a, uh, and a stool from the kitchen. But, you know, it's all good. It'll probably work just fine. What up, YouTube? This is the Young Chevy Truck YouTube channel where I plan on showing you how to build a 1984 Chevy C10 truck that just burns rubber, ain't meant to be fast, and only meant to be fun for you. And in this episode, I'm going to be comparing cast iron cylinder heads to aluminum cylinder heads. And I have my cast ones over here, and I got my aluminum cylinder right over here. And of course, on my motor, my 355 sitting right behind me, I figured this would be the best place to do the video because, you know, it's just shiny goodness right here and you know shiny metal just it, it's beautiful I can't stop touching it but anyway I have trick flow 195 aluminums on my new motor for those of you who are new and uh, let me go ahead and pull out the old dinosaur heads now you could probably see how much I had to exert to do that you know let me move you guys further back you guys can see everything. Please like this video, y'all, because so we can buy us a crawler that actually has a all four wheels. This is the cast iron cylinder head that has been on the truck for a while. Um, it was on there for the first two years of me owning it, so. This thing, it's seen quite a few burnouts, and quite a few donuts, and quite a few slides. And it's made many people laugh, including myself. So they've done their purpose, and they've, they've done what they're supposed to do very well, up until we decided to make the upgrade. And these things are insanely heavy. We're going to be comparing the weight difference between the two. So let me go ahead and pull out my aluminums. And... Uh, you'll see it's a lot easier for me to do. Basically, I think the only like physical differences between these two is they say, I'm not sure, you guys have to correct me if I'm wrong, but aluminum dissipates heat a whole lot faster and it's of course a whole lot lighter and that's why they make a lot of the new motors out of aluminum because they just it saves so much weight just to make them out of that. Of course it's not going to be as strong as good old cast iron, but you know, it's all good. Fun fact, uh, Hellcats and Scat Packs are the exact same setup as this. Iron block because it's strong and it's cheap with aluminum heads on the top. So I thought that was a really cool, like, fun little fact. Now, of course, everything LS is aluminum and then every truck motor is the same setup as this. Iron block with aluminum head. I think that's so cool because, like, nothing has really changed since then other than you know, simple little technological differences in the motors. But that's a whole nother subject for a whole nother day, so let's not even get into that. As you guys can tell, I'm like really into motors. Motors are like my thing. I really like engines, and I really want to do more with engines, and I really want to build engines that do different things for different purposes and all that, but you guys will learn more about me later on. But today in this video, we're just going to be comparing the weight differences of these bad boys right here. And these are Trick Flow 175s, and they used to be on the old setup. They replaced these old clunkers right here when I first started messing with an engine. When I first started messing with a top end. I haven't done a bottom end yet, but when I first started messing with motors, that's what these were replaced by, were the Trick Flow 175s. And they did a really awesome job. They made the compression really tight. So it was great, great buy. Only like 500 bucks, 550 bucks a piece for a cylinder head. So you know, you're only up to like a, a grand. You know, sometimes people, especially for LS motors, they can be like $1,500 for one cylinder head. So the fact that you can get, you know, cylinder heads that flow like a Vortec head and make the compression tighter also, and they can be repaired, that's another thing. They can be repaired if you, um, if you crack them or they're warped. I hear you can repair them versus these, which can't be. I don't really know why that is. I would think the exact opposite. I would think the exact other way around, but I heard that aluminum cylinder heads can be repaired. So those are pretty much the, all the benefits that I can think of. 
And of course, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to give you the weight of them. And I got my scale over here. So we're just going to, I'm just going to step on it, see how much I weigh. And then I'm going to step on it with uh, the different heads and we'll see how much they weigh. So let me go ahead and see how much I weigh because I'm, I'm a lightweight. I know I weigh like what, 127? Okay. So I weigh 128.6. Like I said, lightweight for the win. Um, let me go ahead and I'll take the scale, put this out here where you guys can see. And first off, because I don't feel like working that hard, I'm gonna use the uh, aluminum cat, uh, the aluminum cylinder head. And step on the scale. All right, and so I weigh 157 now with the aluminum cylinder head versus what 128 28 so it weighs 28 pounds off the top of my head math i mean if i'm wrong then i'll correct myself but so let's go ahead and see how much lighter they are in comparison to the cast iron cylinder heads i don't know why it's so hard for me to say cylinder heads today now i weigh 173 jesus christ that's heavy Okay, and then I weighed uh, 173, so 127, no 128, I'm tripping, I weighed 128, plus 2 is 130, 30 to 70 is 40 pounds, so it's 43 plus 2, this thing weighs 45 pounds, bro, 45 pounds, it might not seem like a lot, but when it's dense like this, and it's concentrated in one spot, 45 pounds, is a lot, all right? It's a lot. Yeah, that's the weight difference, y'all. So it's uh, 45 pounds versus, I believe, 28 pounds. That was the math? Yeah, I think, yeah. 45 versus 28 pounds. So that's pretty good. That's a pretty good weight savings, I think. So you have 45 pounds times two, so you got 90 pounds in the front end versus 60 pounds in the front end so I mean 30 30 pound weight savings so I mean that's not terrible you know every little bit counts especially when you're trying to go fast so you can do a whole lot of things to these small blocks to make them a little bit lighter and I mean other than you know the block themselves the blocks are like super expensive if you want to get like an aluminum small block you might as well just be better off LS swapping and just going LS instead of trying to keep it keep it dope and keep it gen 1 you might as well just go LS at that point Cause if I'm not mistaken, the cast iron, I mean the um, the aluminum small block Chevy blocks are like five thousand dollars just the block with nothing in them. So you see where I'm going with that. <laughs> That's self-explanatory. That's really di the difference between these two, the weight difference and everything. So um, I think that's all I got for y'all because um. I just wanted to make sure I got a Friday video out for y'all because, you know, I was lacking last week and I only got three videos out. So I'm trying to get all the videos I can out this week so that I can still have my 20 uploads by the end of the month. So I'm really trying to get to 500 subscribers. So, like I said, if you guys know anybody who would enjoy the channel, make sure you take your favorite video. It doesn't matter which one it is. Just your favorite video. Maybe it was one where Kevin Dean was goofing off like he always does and said something really funny. So, and just take that video and then just share it with anybody who you think would enjoy it and then ask them to subscribe I mean I don't want you to have to like push it on like people who don't really like cars or anything just people who would actually enjoy the content that's really big on my list I really want to attract people who actually want to watch it I'm not trying to have ghost subscribers you know I want people who actually are in tune with what I'm in tune with so I think that pretty much sums up this video guys I know it was super short I mean the video runtime is only about 11 minutes and 50 seconds and counting so Super chill video, super simple video, but I think it got the job done. I think it got the job done for real. So, I'm trying to think, make sure I don't have any updates for y'all before I head out. But alright guys, I think this one's pretty much over y'all. I was trying to think like if I had anything, you know, that I needed to share with you guys before I head out and before I call it a night and before I get to editing this video. But I think I really got, I think that's pretty much it. I mean, I don't really have much to say. Next week, we're going to be, of course, getting the truck in the garage for sure because we cleared out so much space in comparison to how it used to be. So, 
we are for sure going to be taking care of that. And the truck will be in the garage, snug, safe and sound in a little bit. So that's really exciting. And I'm really happy about that. After it's been for forever since it's been in here, since any car has been in here. So we are going to clean it out and try to make sure that we have enough space to move around and also enough space for the truck, of, of course. You know, I want like space for the car and space to actually breathe, if that makes any sense. So just like that, this one's pretty much over, and I really appreciate you guys watching. If this is your first time seeing anything from me, make sure you hit that subscribe button for me. And also leave a like, too. It helps me circulate, you know. But just like that, this one's pretty much over. I really appreciate you guys watching. I need to wash my dirty hands. And have a good one.